Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to update the Name Hero blog to use Gutenberg in real time so we can see for once and for all what happens when you take a live blog and update and add a plugin. Now, it's important to note I really don't recommend doing this. I always recommend doing such a change here on a staging environment because you could break your website. Now, um, I'm kind of doing this just for the YouTube audience so I can show what, um, what happens when you do this. Um, and we're going to see if it breaks the site. So really quick, if you're not having, if you have not been following our YouTube channel, WordPress 5.0 is about to come out. It's going to come out uh, very soon. And Guttenberg's going to be the new post and page editor that is going to be inside the WordPress core. Currently on WordPress 4.8.9 or somewhere around there, um, Guttenberg's a plugin. So you can add it as a plugin, enable it, and then you can kind of check it out. And then if it breaks the site or doesn't work, you can revert back. So that's why um, I'm a little bit more comfortable doing this to a live site. But um, as a disclaimer, I do recommend most of you to do this in a staging environment. Um, given that I am the owner of Name Hero, we have a team here in the office that we can quickly revert back if we break something or we could roll back to actually five minutes ago if we need to. Um, and of course, we have plenty of backups on hand. So again, if it's you, you know, use your own discretion. Um, but I am going to do this just for the kind of the shock factor um, to see what happens um, when I do add the plugin and activate it. Um, so that's my disclaimer. I'm going to do this here. I'm going to kind of go out on the limb and do it. Um, you know, use your own discretion if you do this to your site. So really quick, if you're not familiar here at Name Hero, quick plug, we are a high speed um, web host on the cloud. Um, we host um, a lot of WordPress websites. We're, we're powering over 20,000 websites to date. Um, and what we see is 99% of our customers, they use WordPress in some capacity or another. The good thing about Name Hero though, is you're not limited to just WordPress. You know, some of the specialized managed WordPress hosts, they don't allow anything else but WordPress, such as WP Engine or Pagely. Um, you know, it's just WordPress hosting. At Name Hero, we, we allow WordPress, we've optimized for WordPress, but if you want to use another CMS system, you're more than welcome to. It's flexibility. So um, check us out, namehero.com. I'm going to now go head over here to the Guttenberg plugin page. Um, so this is on WordPress.org. If you want to download the plugin and install it on your WordPress website before it becomes part of the WordPress core, you can download it from here. Um, you can see yesterday there was 80,000 installations just in one day. It looks like it's jumped by 10,000. So you can see it's moving up, up, up really quick because a lot of people are testing this out. Um, you can see it requires at least WordPress 4.9.6. It's tested up to 4.9.8, which is the current version as of this video. Um, yesterday, we in my tutorial yesterday, we talked about the ratings. Lots of one stars here, so the community is not too pleased with it. If you click see all, you can see what people are saying about it. You know, people are not too happy about it. Um, I wrote on our blog yesterday. Let me pull that up here. Um, I posted a, a post here, what um, you know, to kind of you know get the debate going here at Name Hero. Um, our one of our team members wrote about his thoughts on it too, um, calling it annoying as hell. So feel free to check out his post as well. Um, and if you go to wordpress.org slash Guttenberg, you can see they've got this, um, interactive demo of it and, and how it looks, um, when you add it to your WordPress. So if you just want to go see it without making any changes to your site, you can head over there and, um, check it out. It's the most notably the big changes, these blocks, everything in your post and pages are now going to be inside of these blocks. And so each paragraph that you write will be in its own block. If you want to add an image or a video, you do it in a block uh, versus just all lumped up in the same editor that you're used to. So that's the kind of the changes here. But now let's head over and let's add it to the Name Hero blog and let's see what happens. So if I go to my dashboard, um, you can see there's there's these notices we always get. But um, most notably, this notice has been added. A new modern publish experience is coming soon. Um, take your words, media, and layout in new directions with Guttenberg, the WordPress editor we're currently building. Um, so you can see they've got the option here to install Guttenberg plugin. 
um, were installed the classic editor. So the really cool thing that you know I really appreciate the WordPress community doing, if you don't want to use Gutenberg when it goes to WordPress 5.0, you can still use WordPress 5.0 and install the classic editor as a plugin. So that's, you know, that's really helpful. If you're not ready for it, or maybe it breaks your site or some plugins or your theme, you can use the classic editor for the time being um, and keep the same publishing experience that you've been used to for the last decade plus. Um, but if you want to use Gutenberg, you can also install it as a plugin currently and kind of play around with it. So um, before we started this video, I went ahead and installed the plugin. And so now I just need to need to activate it. So if I go to a post, let's say just this post here, and I am logged in now. So if I go to edit post, um, you can see I've still got the classic editor in here. So you can see this is the classic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this page open so you can see the difference. So let me go back to our dashboard here and visit the site and pull up this post as well. So when I activate Gutenberg, we can refresh it and compare side by side. So here it is. Now let's go back to our dashboard and let's activate the Gutenberg plugin. Okay, now it is activated. So you can see when we activate it here, they've got a demo. And so it shows, you know, what it looks like. This is a, a demo post with the blocks. So you can see if I hover over this, the title is in a block. This uh, cover image is a block. And each paragraph of text is a block. And we can keep going here. There's an, a heading block. And so everything is in its own respective block. That's the big change to Gutenberg. And so let's look at this post now. Remember, Classic editor looks like this, and if we go to edit posts now, we're going to see this in Gutenberg. All right, so now we can see what our existing posts look like. So I'm just going to disable the tips because I don't want to see it. So you can see since this post was previously made in the classic editor, it, it keeps the headline in the block but then it just shows the classic editor for the entire post. So what it's not doing, it's not converting my existing posts and pages to blocks. It's just keeping them with like this classic editor already in there. I do like this because I feel like if it was to convert the current post, we could really have a mess. So that's pretty cool and it should be, uh, that should put everyone's uh, mind at ease that it's not going to be converting your current posts or pages to the Gutenberg editor. You can still use the classic editor to make any changes to your existing post. So let's go to the blog and let's see if it, if it broke anything. So we'll just go in this window and visit the site, leave this page. And we can see the blog looks good. I mean, there doesn't seem to be any, any, anything that's broken. I mean, everything appears to be loading. Um, our social share buttons are still showing up. If we click on a post, we can look and, you know, I don't see anything that's broken. Again, the social sharing works. Um, the formatting of the post looks fine. Um, we can go on down here. The videos are showing. So it looks like everything is, is working on the Name Hero blog. Our theme is not broken. Our plugins are still working as far as I know. Now, I haven't you know examined each plugin. I don't use a whole bunch of plugins here at Name Hero, and, and you can look through my YouTube channel to see why. I don't personally like using a lot of plugins. So, um, you know, that's, that's um, you know, comforting for me to know. Now, um, if I go to make a new post, new post, you can see that now I get the Gutenberg editor. So I do have a couple plugins added. You can see Social Warfare is a social plugin we use. And if we go on down here, we can see Yoast SEO, which is what, what we use for our SEO. Um, I've got a podcasting plugin and I've got ConvertKit installed, it shows. I've got um, Amped, custom Amped editor uh, for our mobile stuff, our mobile schema and all that, Amp page builder as well. So those, lo everything looks like it's loading. You know, normally if, um, if the editor would have broken a plugin, this page would be white or we'd see the, the white page of death in WordPress, but I'm not seeing that, so it's very refreshing. Now, if I was to make a test post, which I'm not going to publish this since this is a live version of the site, but now here's the new Gutenberg editor. I'm making a headline. And if I was to write a paragraph, so um, test paragraph, and if I hit enter, you can see it's making a new block. Now, there's something here I notice. It says updating failed. So it doesn't look like it's updating this and it's not saving this maybe. I, I don't know. Let's just type in test again and let's save the draft. Okay, saving. Okay, it looked like it saved that time. Let's see if a preview works. 
If I preview, it's generating the preview. How long are we going to wait here? So I don't like this because this is taking a lot longer than I think it should. All right, so that, that might be something that's, that's not happening. All right, I mean, I think that I should see a preview by now. Now look, I've got an updating filled. Okay, for the heck of it, let's just publish it and see what happens. Well, the post shows up. If I go to home, I see the test post. If I go to edit the post, I can see it here. But that preview never did load. Now I'm going to move it to trash just because I don't this is a live site, so I don't want to leave a test post in a live site. Um, again, the the preview never loaded, so it looks like the preview is jacked up. Um, my existing posts are good. Let's go visit the site now. Visit site. Okay, so the site still works. The preview does not work. Okay, so that's that's so far that's my experience. Now I haven't again. I, I'm probably going to set up a whole testing environment and, and test it a lot more extensively with um, a couple of the fellows in here in our office, um, so we can look at it um, before we would obviously leave this on. But so far it looks like the preview doesn't work, and it looks like it has a problem with the auto save of the draft, because as we were you know as we were making changes, it wasn't auto saving, and then the preview didn't work. So I, there's two bugs right off the bat that we need to troubleshoot what's going on. You know, is it a plugin that's causing it? Is it a theme issue? Um, you know, what exactly is going on? So if I go back in here, um, again, this is the classical page. If I go to plugins, installed plugins, I can go down to Gutenberg and deactivate it. Okay, now it's gone. So now it's not going to, so if I go back to make a new post, add new, I've got my classical editor. And if I would make that test again and click preview, my preview is back to working. So um, I'm not sure what the what the problem was. I'm noticing my social sharing is not showing up on this preview. Is it still showing on the blog? Yeah, it's still showing on the blog. So we'll have to look into that. But it does look like the preview works now, but it was not when we enabled Gutenberg. So that's, you know, first glance, that's what happened when I updated it. Um, we're going to be publishing a lot of new content on WordPress 5.0 as it comes out. Um, a lot more Gutenberg um, content as well. Um, I'm probably going to set up some more staging sites, some more examples, because it's. I feel like that I've got a responsibility here at Name Hero to show you, um, you know, what to expect. And if you're a reseller at Name Hero, maybe to show your customers what to expect. Or if you're a, a WordPress developer yourself working with us at Name Hero, you know, I, I want to try to give you as much of a heads up as we can. Um, you know, thankfully, I didn't have to revert to any backups here, and it was as easy as just disabling it to get things back to how it was. Um, you know, it looked like, you know, enabling it didn't create too many things other than that autosave issue um, and then the preview issue. So I'm just going to move that post to the trash. Um, so, you know, that would probably be something that I'd want to add to here. Um, you know, you can see that after it's very slow, it was three minutes ago. And this person found something they liked. This person thinks it's a terrible idea. So lots and lots of comments. And, you know, the, the thing about the WordPress community is it's not, you know, it's not just a corporation that owns WordPress. It's an it's a open source project. It's a community. So if you like it, let them know. If you don't like it, let them know. You know, leave your star rating. Um, you know, that's your voice means something. So, you know, if the more people that say one star, you know, their WordPress is going to be looking at it, but it does. I do believe that it's, it's too late for them to pull it out of the core. It looks like that they are going to move forward no matter what with Guttenberg in the core. Now, you know, voice your experience here as well. So they, they know what to add and what you do or don't like. Um, I'm hoping obviously that they fix that issue where I can't preview and that could be limited to the name hero blog. So basically I want to set up a staging environment and start eliminating everything. I want to eliminate all my plugins, eliminate my theme, just put the custom word or the default WordPress theme and see if the preview works there. If it does, then I know it's an issue with a plugin or a theme. So I'll do the process of elimination. And again, I'm not going to do that on a live site. I'm not going to, you know, switch the theme on a live site. I want to set up a staging environment so we can kind of isolate what's going on and what's not working. Um, 
so I'm also going to publish some content about, um, I know the couple customers of ours, a name here, have reached out to me, a couple of my friends um, that happen to be customers as well. And they're, they're going to move a couple sites away from WordPress because they feel like that they don't like the direction WordPress is heading. So they're going to be checking out a new content management system, which, you know, that's the flexibility you have at Name Hero. You're not limited to just WordPress. You can move to other CMS systems and keep your hosting the same. So feel free to comment on this YouTube video. Um, let us know what you think about it. If you've made the jump, if you've added the plugin to your WordPress site, did it break anything like you saw it at what happened at the Name Hero blog or was it um, seamless for you? Um, are you having any issues? Well, you know, I, I want to hear any and all um, comments. If it's good or it's bad, just let us know. Um, if you appreciate this video, you know, I really do. Um, it, it's nice to see you if you share it, you know, share it with others. Give us a thumbs up if you like this content, because that signals to me that you want to see more of it. And I'll, of course, continue to publish more. If you have not already, I recommend subscribing to our YouTube channel because we're really going to ramp up on this content and even more as WordPress moves forward. Um, so I really do appreciate that stuff. So thanks so much for watching and thanks for using NameHero.com.